Hello everyone, it's Sal here. A very warm welcome back to another perfume video. I hope you're doing well. So today we are going to be talking about some beautiful fragrances which ooze confidence and class. If you are new to my channel then a very warm welcome. I create new perfume videos every single Wednesday and Saturday minimum on my channel so if that's something which interests you then please don't forget to click the subscribe button below. Also feel free to activate the notification bell as well if you would like to be notified every time I post. So as ever before we get started today get yourself comfortable, grab yourself a drink and a snack, comment below your drink of choice. Today I have some peppermint tea. So you guys I'm gonna be honest with you I can barely contain my excitement today because uh, first up today we actually have a fragrance from Rocha Parfums which was very generously gifted to me um, to feature on my channel. I honestly I'm speechless. I'm just so grateful um, for this fragrance. It's absolutely beautiful so thank you so much to Rocha Parfums for sending me this absolutely breathtakingly stunning fragrance. Um, to feature in my video today. I really truly appreciate it. Um, so this perfume is called Danger and it's from their newer Essence de Parfum range. Now I absolutely love this fragrance you guys and it is actually unlike anything else I have in my collection. So in the top notes of this fragrance we have lemon, bergamot, grapefruit and mandarin. In the heart notes we have rose to my, gardenia, jasmine, lang lang, violet and peach. And in the base notes we have clove, patchouli, sandalwood, vanilla, tonka bean, oris and also musk. So overall this fragrance is actually extremely well blended, it's very seamless and it's quite difficult to pick out individual notes for that reason. It's blended together almost like silk and it's so refined. something about this fragrance which almost has an authority about it and that's why I wanted to mention it in today's video because this is the kind of fragrance that would really um, give me an extra boost of confidence and I feel like maybe if you're going to work and you just need that extra boost if you're working on a important project and you just want to um, feel on top of things. So immediately when you smell this fragrance it's quite warm, it's quite fuzzy, it's quite powdery to my nose but in a very um, finely milled, refined, soft kind of way. I would say you can definitely pick up that grapefruit and um, perhaps even the lemon and the mandarin when you smell it out the bottle. You do also get quite a lot of that sandalwood but apart from that all of the notes are just so well blended in here. And like I say, it's quite hard to pick out individual notes. So of course I absolutely adore Danger from Rocha Parfums. However, um, they do also have so many other beautiful fragrances which I tried in their sample set. So you can purchase their sample set for £35 on their website. I would really, really recommend doing that. It means that you can properly try every single fragrance from the Essence to Parfum range. Um, and that's what I did to decide which fragrance I was going to choose and let me tell you it was so difficult to choose because they're all beautiful and um, these are the little samples that you get in this sample set. You get to try them all and um, they're all absolutely beautiful. I would say my other favourites from this line were Reckless, I also really liked Elixir but the reason I chose Danger is because this is unlike anything I currently have in my collection. So Reckless uh, and Elixir actually were a bit sweeter and a bit more youthful but I have um, quite a lot of fragrances which are sort of falling under that same category but this one here I would say is a bit more mature. Danger is very refined, it's very sophisticated, a bit more mature like I say and I didn't have anything like that in my collection collection so I'm just absolutely over the moon with this one you guys it's so beautiful it definitely oozes class it oozes confidence it's sort of like effortless elegance in a bottle and I just absolutely adore it so that is Danger from Rocha Parfums. The next beautiful fragrance I want to talk about today is Bengal Rouge from the House of Papillon. So it actually has the notes um, written on here so we have Tonka, Sweet Myrrh, Rose, Sandalwood and Oris. So as you can imagine this is a very rich, very enveloping, spicy, sweet fragrance. I would say this perfume definitely oozes confidence to me. It's quite a powerful fragrance. Um, I would say if you're a fan of your rose and your spices then you're going to be in love with this one. Honestly it's so beautiful. 
You definitely get that tonka and the sweet myrrh. You get quite a lot of that um, sweet spicy rose in here as well and it's just overall stunning. The performance on this is incredible. It's a very strong fragrance and um, it projects very well as well, I will say that. Quite a strong fragrance. So I have a little sample here which was very kindly sent to me from Papillon. That's what the full bottle would look like there. Bengal Rouge. Smelling this fragrance makes me think of a very glamorous extroverted woman. Somebody who kind of knows their own mind, they know what they want in life, and they're not scared to go out and get it. Very rich, very warm, quite sweet as well, quite addictive. A really stunning fragrance, you guys, and I would say that um, in the autumn and winter this perfume would really come into its own. In the height of summer, I'm not quite sure if I would reach for this one as much. So Bengal Rouge, overall this is a very rich, warm, powerful, sweet and spicy rose. Uh, fragrance. It's absolutely stunning. If you enjoy your spicy rose scents and you enjoy myrrh and tonka bean and things like that, then definitely give it a try. You can order samples on their website um, and it definitely oozes a lot of confidence and class as well. So that is the beautiful Bengal Rouge from Papillon. Next up today, you guys, we have an absolutely explosive fragrance, and that is Tom Ford's Black Orchid. Now, this fragrance is really something else. It's very, very unique. I've never smelled anything else quite like this. It's definitely a powerhouse fragrance. So to me, this fragrance is just very unusual. It's perhaps quite earthy. It almost reminds me of like brown leaves on the ground or something like that. It's like, like damp leaves and you're walking through maybe a, a woodland sort of area, something quite woody in here. I don't actually know the notes, um, I haven't looked at the notes, so, <laughs> so I'm trying my best to actually smell what's in here. I believe there might be an orchid note um, from the name, but I'm not 100% sure. So there is some sweetness in here, but it's a very unusual sweetness. It's almost um, the sort of sweetness that you would get from fermented leaves or something like that. And it's very rich, very um, dark and deep, quite mysterious as well, I would say. When I imagine the type of person who would wear Black Orchid, I would imagine somebody very confident, very self-assured. Maybe they're a manager or in some sort of um, managerial position, that kind of thing. Somebody who you wouldn't want to mess with, basically. This is a very powerful fragrance for sure. Very, very unique. If you want to smell extremely unusual and unique, then I would definitely check this one out. I wouldn't blind buy it because um, I don't think it's for everyone. For me personally, I don't think I'll be purchasing this one. It's not quite for me. It's a bit too um, earthy. It's a bit just that leafy sort of nature to it. I can really appreciate the artistry in this fragrance. I can appreciate how unusual it is and how uh, well done it is, but I don't think it's for me personally, so I would definitely sample it. But this is definitely the kind of fragrance which oozes confidence. Um, the type of person who would wear this fragrance probably wouldn't be caring what anyone thinks of them. They're just very happy in their own skin. They're doing their own thing and they march to the beat of their own drum. So that is Black Orchid from Tom Ford. Next up today, we have a gorgeous new addition to my perfume collection and that is Narciso by Narciso Rodriguez. Now, you guys, I've had my eye on this fragrance for ages. I've heard so many good things about it, but I've also heard quite mixed reviews. So I think people either love it or dislike it. So I was a little bit wary of uh, purchasing this, but in the end, I did just go ahead and blind by it. I don't really know why, because it could have been a disaster, but um, but I love it anyway, so <laughs> it worked out for the best. I absolutely adore this fragrance, you guys, and I do think that this is the type of scent which oozes um, confidence, it's very classy, it has kind of uh, authority about it, it's really a beautiful fragrance. This is the creamiest, smoothest, musky fragrance I've ever smelled. It's quite surprising that I love it so much in a way because uh, musk is really hit or miss with me. If it's quite a, a scratchy, uh, sharp white musk note, then I hate it. But uh, in here it's done very well. It's very smooth, almost uh, creamy, like silky smooth, that kind of thing. Um, there's gardenia in here as well. I believe you might also have some cedarwood in the base notes of this fragrance. Um, I'm going to make it my scent of the day, actually. I really love this one. So. This makes quite a nice change from Narciso Poudre, actually. So I own Poudre and I love it, as most of you guys probably know if you watch my channel. So I love Narciso Poudre, um, but that one is kind of sweeter. It's um, 
maybe more powdery. It's, it's kind of a bit heavier, I would say. This one has more uh, kind of green aspects to it. It's not quite as heavy and sweet. It has a tiny bit of sweetness, but overall I wouldn't describe this as a sweet perfume. I would describe it more as kind of, um, you know, smooth, creamy, musky, woody, uh, and a touch of floral, that kind of thing. It's not really overly sweet or anything like that. And I think for that reason, it has a very natural feeling to it. It gives that natural, yeah, just a really natural smell. And I've, I've said the same about Poudre before in previous reviews. That has quite a natural quality to it as well, which I absolutely love, like a natural kind of sweetness. Oh my goodness, you guys, I love this one so much. There is something about this fragrance which reminds me almost of a very confident, self-assured person who doesn't take any nonsense, if you know what I mean. I think if I had something maybe at work coming up or any sort of um, situation where I wanted to be taken seriously, then I would probably reach for a fragrance like this. I think this would be a fantastic perfume for that kind of scenario. And overall, I just absolutely love it, you guys. I think it's extremely feminine. I think it's perfect for every day. I think it's absolutely stunning and I just adore it. So that is the Narciso from Narciso Rodriguez. Next up today we have Lady Vengeance from Juliette Has A Gun. Now to me this is quite a bossy fragrance, so if you like your fragrances which are quite bold, quite sharp, you know, fragrances which kind of command attention, then I think you're gonna love this. So this is a rosy, uh, patchouli kind of fragrance. In my opinion this fragrance would be a great confidence booster. I actually had a comment from a subscriber um, quite a wee while ago now asking for recommendations for perfumes um, to wear in a corporate environment and this is one of the perfumes I would recommend. This perfume is just your sharp to the point no-nonsense rose and patchouli fragrance. It's really nice. I don't think I'll be purchasing a full bottle of it. It's not quite my cup of tea um, but I can see a lot of people liking this particularly if you're wanting a fragrance which kind of commands attention, it oozes confidence and uh, a very no-nonsense fragrance. So that is Juliet has a gun Lady Vengeance. Next up today we have a classic in my collection, one of my beloved uh, favourites really, and that is Tom Ford Noir Pour Femme. Now this is probably the best, um, or one of the best, spicy vanilla scents I've ever tried. So it's spicy in a very soft, um, subtle kind of way, it's not overly spicy, which is something I really like about it. This fragrance is quite woody, it's quite resinous, it's quite sweet as well. It's a really nice luxurious kind of sweetness in here from that vanilla kulfi note. The spices in here are just divine and I can certainly see this being one of those fragrances which would ooze confidence, very very classy, very sophisticated and um, maybe slightly mature as well. Absolutely stunning you guys. This is one of my favourites. I talk about it a lot. Um, it's been on my channel quite a lot and I absolutely adore it. So that's Tom Ford Noir Pour Femme. Next up today we have a fairly new um, perfume in my collection and that is Elie Saab Le Parfum. Now this perfume is bold in a very feminine, very alluring and seductive kind of way. It definitely oozes confidence to me without a doubt. In fact uh, somebody this perfume reminds me of is Mila Leblanc. So that's the kind of personality um, that this fragrance conveys. A very bold, very self-assured, somebody who somebody who speaks their mind and is not afraid to go out and get what they want. So that's the kind of person I would imagine to wear this fragrance. It's very, very feminine as well. This smells like somebody who's unapologetically themselves, uh, very flirtatious even, just an absolutely stunning fragrance. I've not actually worn this one uh, very often yet. Um, I do need to wear it more. It's an absolutely stunning fragrance, you guys. I did used to have the Eau de Toilette version um, it used to be my signature scent actually, the Eau de Toilette version of this, which is much more toned down actually. Um, I wore that when I was 18. Uh, that was yeah my signature scent for a while. I think that version has been discontinued now, um, but I'm really happy with this Eau de Parfum fragrance. It's much stronger than the Eau de Toilette as you would imagine. Um, quite a powerful scent. If you enjoy jasmine and if you enjoy patchouli and things like that then I think you would love this. There's also a honey note in here I believe and um, but it's not overly sweet which I quite like. The honey just adds something quite interesting in here. It sort of helps to meld all of those notes together and it's just oh just amazing. A powerhouse fragrance for sure. So that is Elie Saab Le Parfum. 
And last up today, but by no means least, we have the stunning Libra Intense from Yves Saint Laurent. Now, I love this one, you guys. This is a fairly new addition to my collection. I'd had my eye on it for ages. Um, I love this one so much. I'm not a fan of the original Libra, um, or Leap. I can't pronounce it very well, I'm sorry. <laughs> um, but I tried the original Leap and it wasn't quite for me at all. It had that really annoying synthetic um, screechy musk note in it, which I uh, picked up on quite strongly. And overall, it was just quite a cold, harsh fragrance to me. Um, so that one wasn't for me at all. But the intense version, however, is an absolute love for me, you guys. If you like lavender, if you like vanilla, if you like rich, deep, uh, feminine, flirty, slightly powdery fragrances, then you would love this. I believe there's some ambergris in here as well, which I think is absolutely stunning. It's a really beautiful addition to the scent profile. And it just, again, helps to blend all of those notes together and it gives it a real depth. This is just absolutely beautiful, you guys. It's got that orchid note in there, I believe. Really rich lavender vanilla, quite deep, would be absolutely stunning for evenings. Or if what I would say, um, if you're wearing this during the day, then I can see this being a real confidence booster. It's quite a bold fragrance, but it's kind of soft at the same time. It's not too, it's not jarring. It's not like in your face or anything like that, but it has a very strong presence and it's just absolutely stunning. Very feminine, um, very bold, beautiful, quite unique as well, I would say very classy as well. So of course I absolutely adore this one. The bottle is just beautiful. Um, I love that amber coloured juice. It's, it's completely gorgeous in every single sense. So that is the beautiful Libra Intense from Yves Saint Laurent. So there we have it you guys. Those are my beautiful fragrances which ooze confidence and class. I really hope you enjoyed the video. Please share your thoughts in the comments section below. I always absolutely love to read your comments. Uh, thank you so very much for watching. I truly appreciate you and I'll see you on the next video. Take care guys. Bye.